Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello and welcome to the video for what is the editor utility widget. So this here in our bottom left corner is our editor utility widget. Now this was introduced in Unreal Engine 4.22 and it gives us the ability to make widgets using the UMG system inside of the editor instead of just inside of our project at runtime and then manipulate content both in our viewport here or our level as well as our content browser. So let's take a look at our example here. Really simple layout that I created. I can click on my item here and let's say I wanted to duplicate this item a couple times. These are my collectibles. I could do this, but it might not be exact for every time I'm doing it unless maybe I make a custom snap. And maybe it's just really repetitive if I want to make them in a certain direction or pattern. Whatever. I got bored. I want to make a utility. We have this now. So in this case, I can specify my distance of 250 units between each one. I want to duplicate it six times. I want to go in my Y positive direction. I'll click the button. I've now made six more of them 250 units apart. I could do it in the Z plus, for example, and then you'll see we have a bunch up and I could do it any other direction based on these button presses. So let's look at how that works. I'm going to close our widget. Now, the first thing to note, if you're going to be working with these, you might want to enable the plugin that gives us access to additional functions. Edit plugins. We'll type in editor and you have the editor scripting utilities. Go ahead and enable that and restart it, and we'll get access to more functions. If we double click on our example that I have in here, we get what looks like a normal familiar UMG layout. We get our UMG layout, we got our graph, and we get a bunch of items. Now we don't create these like a normal UMG. It's not UM widget blueprint under user interface. It's under editor utilities, editor widget. Now these are like a more enhanced version of our blue utilities. Blue utilities were widgets not widgets, utilities attached to blueprints that we could run and do functions on those blueprints. Editor widgets, when we create it and open it up, are a normal widget that we can run in the editor and it can manipulate anything we feel like. So you can see here, we've created a new one, normal UMG layout, normal graph editor layout, everything is like we expect, like normal. We just work with the data in a different way. So here's the example. We have buttons, we have text, we have editable text for input. We have our normal events for clicking on, like I open this up and this is what's gonna happen when I click on it. Our biggest difference is gonna be nodes like this. Target is editor level library. So this is a node from our plugin that we enabled earlier. If we go to our palette and we look through here, you'll find editor scripting in here somewhere. There we go. This gives us the ability to script in the editor. A lot of these were added in based on that plugin. And then some of them are also enabled by default, such as manipulating item inside of our content browser, like manipulating assets, renaming them, changing them. There are a bunch of different editor nodes that you can see in here. So you can do different things inside of our UMG editor widgets. So in this case, the get selected level actors node is really simple. It grabs anything we've selected in the level and returns it back as an array of actors. So if I select, I don't know, these items here, it's going to grab all those items and return it back as an array. If we selected one, it's going to select one, but we're always going to get back our array. For my example, I don't care about anything. I want the first item I've selected. I use the get node. It's the normal node, nothing special. At this point in time, it's just an array of actors, so we can manipulate it like normal, just like in runtime. I'm passing things along. I have an actor. It doesn't care if it's in the level editor or not. Once I have the actor, I have access to things like the location and rotation. We're passing it along. We're looping through. I use a new node called spawn actor from object. It simply takes in that actor that we selected earlier and duplicates it inside of a world using a location and rotation. Now this node, spawn actor from object, as well as the get selected level actors node are all covered in their own separate videos because they are specific to our editor utility, but everything else is our normal blueprint. We have macros, we have functions, and we have variables just like anything else. Debugging editor utility widgets is actually pretty simple. 
If you've ever debugged something before, you know when it's running, you have access to your debug controls, you have a debug filter, and you can step through. Now, since most, most actions in our utility widgets are going to be responsive, so for example, you click a button, something happens, everything is running in the editor at runtime. So if we compile and save, that's going to clear everything out. I'm going to grab one of these items in here, for example, and um, we're going to duplicate this first one again. And we're going to open up our widget. Now, double-clicking won't open, so you have to right-click and run editor utility widget, and that'll open it up. It is a normal window, so of course we can do whatever we want to it. In this case, I docked it. Or if you've opened it up already, you can go to Window, Editor Utility Widgets, and simply select that widget to pull it up. And I'm going to duplicate this once in the Z. It duplicated once. You know since I've compiled and saved this, my values are reset to default. It's just like any other blueprint. It's going to reset back because this is our original item. So if you've changed anything, you might have to rechange it. There are other options of saving temporarily and such, but for now, it's duplicated. We'll go back to our widget, and you'll notice up here we now have something in our debug filter. We have our actual object that's running that's debuggable in here. Now, what did we do? We did the Z+. Plus. So let's find our Z+, plus button. We're going to look at our Z- minus button first. You'll notice we have no results in our get selected level actors. But if we look at our Z+, plus button, we have a result. Well, yeah. This isn't a frame where we had to pause the game in order to get the values. This is the editor that's running all the time. This ran. All of these nodes are still active and all their data is still contained inside of them until we compile or reset this widget. So in this case, you can see the get selected level actors node returned back the one actor I selected. If I selected more than one, it would have returned more than one. And then of course I just manipulated it from there. If we compile and save, You'll notice, well, something a little weird. If you've ever worked with UMG before, it's not that weird. Uh, UMG tends to stay around for about a minute or so before the garbage collector kicks in. So these are a bunch of other temporary ones. None of them are actually valid. Only your last one's going to be valid right here. And, of course, we have no actors in our array because we've reset it. So all of the state, all of the data inside this widget has been reset back to scratch. You can see I can do 250 times 22 compile and save and you'll notice it reset back because i've reset the state of this widget back to default it's created a couple temporary ones i don't know why it does that it just does it if you give it a minute or so all of them will disappear except the most current one which is the one you're using but that's basically it that is a summary of our editor utility widget it uses the umg system for both coding and blueprints as well as designing in the umg layout system itself we have special nodes that are inside of our editor scripting. We can script items both in our viewport as well as in our content browser using the correct nodes. And know you can refer to the documentation as well as other videos for information on how those nodes work. You can right click to run it and that will bring it up anywhere you want. And of course you can move it wherever you want. And double clicking opens up to edit. Make sure you have that plugin enable for the editor scripting or you're not going to have access to all of the nodes and you might be a little confused and that's it that is the basics of the editor utility widget introduced in unreal engine 4.22